Welcome back. Well, it's time to hit the links for a good cause. The 21st annual Ronald McDonald House Golf Tournament runs the 12th through the 14th, which means you only have a few days left to get your team together. And joining us now on our 702 Communications line, 702 Communications, keeping you connected. We've got Erica Johnsrud with us from the Ronald McDonald House Charities of the Red River Valley. Erica, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Chris. Thanks for having me. It's great to have you with us. You guys do such incredible work across our entire community. So for people that maybe aren't familiar with uh, all the wonderful things you all do, uh, talk about the mission of the Ronald McDonald House. Absolutely. At the Ronald McDonald House, we are supporting families who have children receiving medical care in any of the local hospitals. So they have a place to stay and can be with their child while they're receiving medical care. And, and tell some stories. I mean, I remember when I had a chance to be at one of your guys' great fundraising events, and there's families that are driving in from hours and hours away. Obviously, you can't make the drive back and forth and, and keeping them close and just the impact that that has on people that are in the hospital, but also the families as well. Absolutely. It is, it's so important for the child to have their, their mom or their dad and their siblings next to them while they're going through a really tough time. Um, you know, we have families that come from Minnesota, North Dakota, South Dakota. We had a family uh, not too long ago from Jamestown. And I just can't imagine having to drive back and forth to Jamestown. You know, a lot of people just wouldn't be able to, to do that. And so, you know, really the, the reason the Ronald McDonald House started was because those folks that had to travel to receive care for their kids, they, they were sleeping in their cars or on the floor in the hospital room. And that's just, it's so important that they get a good night's rest so they can understand the medical care and what's going on with their child as well. Yeah, great point. You get to be there to be an advocate for your child. And so you got a big event coming up to help raise some funds. What's going on? We do. Uh, we we definitely changed our golf tournament up this year, like, like most people are. Um, and so we are doing a tea times based golf tournament. So folks can go on to our website, rmhcfargo.org to register teams of two or teams of four to play um, anytime between Sunday the 12th and Tuesday the 14th, a, a time they get pick the time that works best for them and um, all the funds for the registration fees and the sponsorships go to support those families. Nice, and so when you say goes to support those families, what do you mean, like it helps pays for a night's stay or food or? So we ask if families can to donate $20 towards their stay a night, uh, but we do not turn them away if they're unable to pay that. And last year, over 80% of our families actually paid nothing to stay here. So making sure that we can uh, keep those the building up and running. We do have volunteers that come in and make meals. Right now, uh, we are unable to have volunteers coming in the doors. And so it is paying for some of those meals to make sure that the families can really focus on helping their child. And so where's the golf tourney at? How do people register? How is this all working? The tournament this year will be at Meadows Golf Course in Moorhead. So uh, folks can just go onto our website, rmhcfargo.org and register. They will receive an email with instructions on how to set a tee time. And uh, it just kind of goes from there. It's pretty easy to get involved. Great stuff. And for people that maybe can't golf or aren't golfers but still want to help out, what can they do? Absolutely. We have an option this year that we're calling the chip-in sponsor. <laughs> and so it's really donating any amount that is meaningful to you to help our mission. And that is just right on the golf registration form as well. And we'll list you as one of our chip-in sponsors. I love that. Well, well done. Uh, anything else you want to add, Erica? That's, that's a, about it. We're really excited that we were able to uh, do some sort of tournament, albeit not normal. And, uh, um, you know, those funds are really necessary to make sure that we can keep families together. Yeah, great stuff, and thanks for all you do for those families. Thanks, Chris. Have a great tourney and a great rest of your day. You all right, too. stay with us. Thank you very much. When we come back, why you need to head out to and explore Medora.